So welcome to this week's roundup of streaming news, things affecting the cord cutting community, and we've got some big ones this week, starting with how many people actually streamed illegal sports in the year 2022. We also have the report of the first official case where the police knocked on somebody's door because he was watching illegal IPTV. We also have Amazon making side loading more difficult and also some updates to the Fire Sticks and Fire TVs, which will show you better details, better statistics on how you're using your applications. First up, we have exactly 3.9 million people in the UK illegally streamed live sports in the year 2022. Now this number is seemingly going up every year where more and more people are turning to different ways, third party ways of watching their favorite sports. This could be for a number of reasons, the cost of living going up, people just generally struggling to make ends meet. And some of these sports packages are very, very expensive. And unfortunately they seem to be constantly increasing in price. Now we can see this number actually was up from 2019 and here we can see the main stats where you have the infringement numbers as a percentage. We have live sports with 36%, software piracy as 38% and also digital magazines on 41%. So it's just something that they've been trying to stop for a very long time but the way things are going I really can't see it happening anytime soon. Next up, we have the big news. I mean, this was reported about a week ago where there was a threat that the police were going to visit a thousand homes in the UK for people watching illegal IPTV with the hope that they can potentially encourage them to stop watching or maybe taking it to the next stage and potentially prosecuting people that were doing this. Now, even though we can see this was covered in a few different news articles, nothing as far as I know actually happened until a few days ago with somebody tweeted Doc Swiffy saying, I had the police visit today regarding me watching IPTV. Is this likely from my ISP reporting it? I don't use a VPN, should I start? I mean, this just proves that it wasn't complete scaremongering and maybe they are being a bit picky, but they have started knocking on people's doors. Now, I mean, he's saying he thinks it could be from watching IPTV and he's not using a VPN. I mean, it could just be something simple as if you go to certain websites where they give you access to free sports content or free, you know, premiership or that kind of stuff, it's very, very easy for the police to uh, speak to the webmaster of that website and get the IP addresses of people accessing that content. And if you're not using a VPN, they can trace your IP address back to your ISP. They can ask your ISP for your details and they can come and give you a visit or send you a letter or anything like that. It is very, very easy for them to track. But I do think it's quite interesting and a bit worrying that they have actually started doing this. And I do wonder how many of those 1,000 people they've already visited. In fact, do leave me a comment below if you do know anybody personally or maybe if you've had a visit from the police because you were watching something with IPTV and lastly we can see that he's not using a VPN so it just means like his IP address is public it's out there whereas with the VPN as you guys know you change your IP address and nobody on the internet can see your real IP address. Next up we have Amazon making side loading more serious or potentially becoming a serious offense on your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs and this is something that's been brewing for a long time I mean, we know previously they, they hid the developer options. So maybe a, a normal person that's not very tech savvy, maybe he'll try and follow a tutorial online, but because that tutorial will tell him to enable the installation from unknown sources inside the developer options, but because he won't be able to see that, maybe he'll give up. So they already made the process a little bit harder for normal users by hiding those developer options. And now it looks like they're taking it to the next level whereby they're now giving you a different message when you try to enable those uh, install from unknown sources. We can see that the previous message was allow specific applications to install from applications that are not from the App Store. Seems pretty straightforward. But scrolling down now, and the older Fire OS 5 and 6 devices, the message was similar saying allowing installation of applications that are not in the App Store. Turn this option on only if you install apps from reliable sources as a developer. But now we can see the new message. It says turning this setting on enables you to install apps from unknown sources on your device. Be aware that installing apps from unknown sources 
may make your device and personal data more vulnerable to security risk or damage. I mean, if I saw that and I wasn't fully aware of what, what's going on, then I could potentially be put off by this because I don't want to make my device vulnerable. I don't want to have security risks on my device. And this may be something that will put me off and prevent me sideloading my favorite application. So again, it's not like they're completely disabling it because that's something that personally I don't think they would ever do because like how would a developer, like when I was testing my TD UK app cache cleaner, I was constantly sideloading versions of my application so I could test to see exactly how it was working. If sideloading was disabled, then that would have been more or less impossible for me to do. So again, I don't think it will be something that Amazon will completely disable. They're just taking these steps to make it more and more difficult for the standard user to to implement. And again, with warnings like this, telling them that they're going to have security damage or make your device, including personal data, more vulnerable, that definitely will put people off. In fact, do leave me a comment below if this message has appeared on your device and what you think about it. Next up, we have something a little bit more positive whereby Amazon are now slowly pushing out an update to your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, which will now show you how frequently you are using these applications. So especially if you are somebody that likes to tinker, likes to have a play, you may be installing lots of different applications on your device. You may forget that you've actually installed them, but with this new update, you can exactly see what was the last time you used an application. So we can see here, Prime Video was not used for seven days, Plex was not used for one day, and these two, for example, were used today. So it does seem to be a helpful feature. And of course, you can also sort them out by app size as well as recency, i.e. how frequently used an application. Now, this is, again, slowly being pushed on all of our devices. I did have a quick check on my third generation Fire TV Cube. If you quickly just go over to your settings, go to My Fire TV, click on About, and we can see my device doesn't have any updates. Still running 7.6.1.3. If I go to My Settings, go to Applications, Go to manage install applications. We can see, I don't see when these applications were last used. What you can do is you can go to the top and where it says sort by, I can change it to app size. And once the new feature comes in or the new update is installed, I'll be able to select recency here as well. So it will show you the applications that you used recently and the ones right at the bottom, they're the ones that are clearly you're not using and you could potentially uninstall them to reclaim some of that valuable space. And the last one is really just the best offer I've ever seen for a very long time. If you are looking for a super fast, super secure VPN, IP Vanish are now doing this crazy deal where you can get complete protection for all of the devices, all of your Fire Sticks, all of your Fire TVs, Android TVs, or Windows devices, phones, tablets, everything covered with complete protection, changing your IP address, accessing geo-locked content. To get all of that under $3, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And this special offer is only available for the next two weeks. If you are thinking about a VPN, I would personally recommend this one. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about this week's new segment. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.